Welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to create a hillshade map in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to import SRTM dem into Earth Engine, first we have to define a variable called elevation equals to double e dot image CGIA SRTM 90 V4. So this specific code will insert our SRTM dem into Earth Engine. So we are using dem to create our hillshade map. So for that we defined a variable called elevation and use this specific code to import our SRTM dem into Earth Engine. So next we have to set a visualization parameter for our elevation data. So for that we define a variable called elevation vis. So here refers to elevation visualization parameter. We are setting with a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 4000. We are, we are setting a color palette for our elevation data. So we are using two distinct color palettes. So one color palette represented in the zero and the second color palette is represented in F. So next we have to generate our hillshade map using our elevation data. So to create a hillshade map, we have to use our elevation data. So for that, we define a variable called hillshade equals to terrain dot hillshade. Uh, here it refers to elevation refers to our this specific variable. So this specific algorithm will create our hillshade map from our elevation data. So next we have to define our visualization parameter for our hillshade map. So to define a visualization parameter for a hillshade map, we are using a variable called hillshade vis. So vis refers to visualization parameter. We are setting with a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 255 with the color palette of uh, color palette of 000 and uh, F, 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 F. And finally, to display our elevation and hillshade uh, layer on our Earth Engine, so we are using the specific code called map dot add layer elevation. So it refers to our elevation data, and this specific elevation vis refers to our elevation visualization parameter, and output the layer name as elevation. And followed by, we are adding another layer called hillshade. So for that, we defined a uh, map dot add layer hillshade. The uh, hill shade vis that is visualization refers to this specific variable and output the layer name as hill shade. So now let us uh, run this code, go to the option called run script and click run script. So now let us visualize our elevation and hill shade of global uh, in a global level. So now you can able to visualize we have two different uh, layers, one layer representing hill shade. And the second layer represents elevation data. So this first layer it is of our elevation uh, layer. So now let us visualize that. So for that, go to the layer section and click this option. So now uh, let us choose in a different option. So let me select the custom. Let me select the stretch to sigma and let me select the gamma. So I've selected gamma, now apply. So now let us visualize our hill shape. I'll close this. Let me zoom into our uh, global scale of our uh, hill shade uh, layer. So now we can visualize the, the hill shade effect of for entire globe. So here, so you can see in this part of the region has a very high elevated uh, areas and compared to the, this part of region we have our very uh, low elevated areas. So now let us wait for the layers being loading. So here you can uh, visualize that in this part of the cell, uh, in this part of our study region, this, this is very low elevated areas compared to this region this has a very high elevated areas. Now let us check the elevation and uh, hill shade values. So go to the inspector tool. So now let me drag this down. So I have selected the inspector tool in Earth Engine. So now let me place this uh, cursor on it. So now let us visualize our value here. So we have an elevation as around 218 here with a hill shade value of 180. So now let me uh, select this part of the region. So where the elevation is being observed, there is high elevation being observed in this part of the region. So now let me click the cursor in this section. So you can observe here, the elevation is around 4,770, uh, 4,748, and in the hill shade value is around 180. Now let me place a cursor in this part of the section. So visualize the elevation is only around 61 and hill shade value of around 180. So let me select this region. So you can visualize here the elevation is around 1206 and the hill shade value of around 182. Similarly, let us check other part of the globe. Let me turn this console section. So 
let us check out the Africa so it is uh, Africa here so let me select the elevation uh, view the elevation and hill shade value in this part of the region so I'll go to the inspector tool again uh, let me drag this down let me click this, click here so now you can visualize the elevation and hill shade value here let me place another areas so here the elevation is around 2651 and uh, let me check this area so comparatively in this part is uh, in this region has a very high elevation in this section and uh, it has a low it has elevation around 1577 so which is indicated here so these are different property of this uh, elevation data and hill shade data So now let us check out the other part of the study region that is our global area. So let me select the United States of America. So let us view the elevation here, elevation and hill shade values here. So let me click this inspector tool again and uh, yeah, I will click here. So now you can visualize the elevation values around 800 and 2840 and the hill shade values around 187. Let me click here. And similarly, the elevation is around 6,000, that is 2,694 and hill shade value of 171. So in this video, I have shown you uh, how to create a hill shade and uh, hill shade map in Google Earth Engine. And I uh, have shown you how to import SRTM DEM, set a visualization parameter for our elevation data. And using elevation data, we have applied this specific uh, hill shade algorithm to generate our hill shade map. And uh, finally, to display this uh, layer in our earth engine so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like